Okay, so here we are. It's uh, actually Sunday the 24th. Uh, we're down on the lot. We're just kind of showing you where we're at. We started setting up our uh, forms for our foundation. Uh, we should have the rest of these done around three quarters of the house uh, on Monday. Tomorrow, uh, the plumber's going to come in. Uh, we've prepared areas uh, for all the plumbing pipe to be buried in the slab. We've dug out and we uh, placed sand in the various locations for all the drains and the supply lines. Uh, we place some foam around these here. These are our footing locations that will be going to be running under the entire slab. Um, but what we're doing is we're setting up for a two foot deep slab around the perimeter. Uh, six inch slab across the uh, body of the house. And all of our all of our plumbing will be buried within that. Along with the uh, radiant heating system. The entire, uh, everywhere you see dirt here will actually be covered with this specialized uh, product called Geofoam. It's a three inch uh, expanded polystyrene high density foam uh, designed to give us an R value of uh, 15.3 underneath the entire slab of the building along with a vapor barrier uh, to stop any heat loss down through the slab. Uh, so that's where we're at and uh, we'll take some more video as we get farther along. Okay so here we are on uh, Monday the 25th about almost six o'clock in the afternoon uh, what we've done is we've uh, set up our forms around three sides of the house we got to finish up these two the two far ends uh, let me show you what I did here so we have our uh, rear perimeter uh, footing set up uh, you can see down here with the jog stuff in the wall uh, so the rear side of the north side of the house is done and we've started up the uh, west side and uh, up the east side. We're going to finish up the east and west side tomorrow to get our front corners determined. Uh, we can't do along the south side yet until the plumber comes in. Uh, you can see these areas here. Uh, they have nine inches of sand faced in those. Uh, these are all trenches that have been excavated and filled with sand uh, at a variety of places here for uh, all the plumbing to be placed. Um, along with the uh, main uh, septic trench, that little foam has to cut back a little bit, but this is the main septic trench which is pitching down through and going out the other side of the house down the far end. Uh, so uh, once the plumber comes in by the end of the week, we'll be able to finish up the front, finish up filling those trenches and compacting, uh, filling the forms, finish up the forms along the north, the south side of the house, and then uh, finishing up the geofoam in preparation for the radiant uh, heating system, the radiant tubing to be put in place. So uh, stay tuned. Alright, so here we are on uh, Wednesday, August 27th. We got three sides of our foundation system all formed up, ready to go. Uh, all straightened out and braced. All strung straight and squared up. Um, we're waiting for the plumbers. They came in today. I started uh, roughing out that plumbing that has to go underneath the floor. Uh, they should be done tomorrow. Once they're done with their rough plumbing, we can grade off and fill their trench over here. Um, and we can start insulating uh, the bottom of this. In preparation for the wire mesh to go down, uh, once we put the styrofoam down um, over the dirt, cover that up completely, we'll put a vapor barrier down plastic over the whole thing. Then we're going to take and put uh, a 6 by 6 welded wire set up an inch and a half, uh, tied all together throughout the whole thing along with uh, two pieces of number four rebar around the perimeter and then the radiant tubing will be uh, attached to that and once that radiant tubing is done we'll be ready to pour this thing. So uh, uh, we got a good another solid week of preparation uh, to finish. We're hoping to pour in about uh, 10 days, having this ready and pour this slab. So uh, that's where we're at. Uh, we'll take some more after the plumber finishes up tomorrow. Okay, so here's a little uh, view of what we're doing on the inside of the trench here. Uh, we have the geofoam completely underneath our forms. It's covered in dirt right now from digging out along the edge. Then we're putting uh, styrofoam sloped to create our footing space. Uh, that's going to come up to the plateau and then have flat uh, insulation over the top of that. So we've created this uh, 
one foot wide and then sloped off uh, footing area around the perimeter of the building. Um, so, and we're insulating that at this point. We're uh, packing down the edge of the bank and cleaning that up and uh, packing in that styrofoam. Any little voids you see, like uh, this space right here, uh, we're going to go around afterwards and we're going to fill that with uh, uh, some spray styrofoam just to fill in any voids we have in the, in the insulation. All right, so uh, Friday afternoon, about 2 o'clock, we're still working here. The plumbers just finished up. You see all the rough plumbing's uh, been done inside the trenches, all capped off and tested. Uh, so it's pre been pressurized, all the water lines have been run out, um, and they're going to be buried in sand when we backfill into this foundation system. Floor drains are in place, uh, elevations are set. Uh, so the rough plumbing's done. Uh, it's going to be inspected uh, probably Tuesday, Monday's a holiday, a Labor Day. Uh, so we're going to get the plumber in here, plumber inspector in here on Tuesday. Then we're going to finish uh, backfilling these trenches. Uh, digging this dirt back out along the front side here, uh, continuing our forms. We got the spent the week uh, insulating around the bottom and making sure that our forms are secured and straightened out and squared. Uh, as soon as we backfill, we're going to be covering this with uh, geofoam and a vapor barrier, and then we're going to set wire on here uh, for the radiant tubing to be uh, attached to. And then hopefully by the end of next week, uh, we'll be just about ready to pour this thing. Uh, so. Uh, stay tuned, that's where we're at.